Hi, we're Eric and Sylvia, and welcome to our Shag series. This is our first tape, and we're going to review some of the basics that you just have to know to dance Shag. Um, the basic in Shag is a six feet basic, and it sounds like slow, slow, quick, quick. Um, for the girls, our footwork, we go to our right foot first, and we do a slow, and we add a little bounce there, hop, and we do another one, slow, hop, on our left foot, and our quick, quick is right, then left. So it's slow, hop, slow, hop, and quick, quick. For the guys, it's the same thing, only on the opposite feet. So from here, guys, we start with our left foot. We go left, hop. We go over to our right foot, right, hop. And then we quick, quick, left, right. Slow, hop, slow, hop, quick, quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now for the shag, there's not a lot of rules about the way you have to hold your frame. Um, we've seen a lot of different dancers dance in the old movies, and they all do it slightly differently. So. You can just grab your partner, pretty much up to the leader how he wants to do it, and you just grab how it's comfortable. You can dance up here, you can dance bent into each other, you can dance just really down your hand down here, however you want. Really um, close, really far away, it doesn't yeah. really matter. As long as you have a nice frame, guys, with your right arm. The main thing, the only rule we've really heard, uh, um, kind of a common rule, is that you didn't just do the shag right in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to try it with music, and we're going to show you how it moves around the dance floor, and it doesn't just stay stationary with our just basic slow, slow, quick, quick. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what the basic looks like. The first thing I'd like to t show you is a little time step, a variation in the basic, so that when you're practicing the steps you're going to learn next, you have something to throw in there as a little extra. It's not just boring. For the ladies, it's called the time step because we learned about the Arthur Murray Shag video um, from 1939, and um, it's not really a time step like a tap, but it keeps the time of the basic. It sounds like slow tap. So you're going to jump onto your right and tap with your left. Then you switch. Jump to your left and tap right, and then you quick, quick. So it sounds like slow, tap, slow, tap, and quick, quick. Slow, tap, slow, tap, and quick, quick. Okay, for the guys, it's the same thing, just the opposite feet. So from here, we slip onto our left, we tap with our right. Slip on our right, tap with our left, and then we quick, quick. Slow, tap, slow, tap, quick, quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and the time slip is just a simple variation you can throw in whenever you want. So for our first move we're going to learn, we're going to learn the breaks. And the breaks in shag is a break in the time of the dance, but it sa still stays in six count. It's a change in the rhythm, I should say. A break looks like this. Slow, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, back quick, basic. basic. Okay, and the rhythm sounds like and slow, and slow, quick, quick. So with numbers, it's going to happen on the <coughs> beat before, half a beat before, your one starts again. And the way you guys lead this? It's an up and down motion. Guys, if you want to use your shoulders to shrug your shoulders a little bit, or if you want to do what Sylvie and I call the skin lift, just with your hand on our back, you just try to lift up her skin here. Okay? You don't need to lift her weight up. Yeah, you don't need to pick her up. Just lift her weight up. Okay. So from here, we're going to do a basic. It looks like slow, slow, slow quick, quick. And as soon as we're done with our quick, the guys are going to give a little lift. And, and one, slow, two, and, and slow, three, four, and quick. five, six. So for the ladies, our footwork goes. Again, it always is going to go to our right foot first. So we go to our right foot, and we do that, we're going to slide our left foot back. Okay, that's at the first and slow. Then we switch and slow. We slide our <laughs> Set our right foot back. Can I say that right? And then we quick, quick, and your quick, quick is always going to be regular. You may want to make sure you not go quick, quick, and lean forward because then it all starts to lean and you never recover. Okay? So for the girls again, I'll do it from the front. We go to our right, side our left foot back, to our left, side our right foot back, and then we quick, quick, regular, and we repeat. For the guys? Okay, for the guys. Guys, we're, we're bringing our feet forward. So from here, when we step onto our left foot, we go and we bend our left foot and we slide our right foot forward. Slow, and we go up and down again, and slow, and we switch our feet so our left foot goes forward. And then we stand up and do a normal quick, 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 quick. The quick, quicks are always the same. So we go slow, slow, quick, quick, and slow, and slow, quick, quick. Or when we quick, quick on five, six, we go five, six, and one, two and three, 
four, five, six. Okay? Okay. So together again, it looks like this. I'm going to show you where the guys lead. We go slow, slow. Here we go. And slow, and slow. Quick, quick. Up, down, up, down. Quick, quick. Now, the ladies, one thing, if you watch the profile of this move, I'm not going here. Okay, I'm leaning against him because that's going to make it really difficult for him to recover. I just do this. And I go straight down. My body, so I'm self-supported here. It doesn't have to be. You can, depending on your partners, and some people don't mind being a little heavy, you can add a little bit of drama to it to make it look more dynamic. But really, you don't need it. You just need to squat on and throw that leg back. What you want to see in that music is that, ah, and the change in the basic, not just this all the time. Okay? So let's try that with music. All righty. <laughs> okay, so our next move is going to be underarm turns. These are basic underarm turns like you do in East Coast Swing. There's two variations you can do. You can do them on the slows or you can do them on the quick quicks. If you do them on the slows, they follow the same timing rule as your East Coast Swing. In East Coast Swing, your first triple step is going to be your prep and your second triple step is going to be your turn. If you think about your shag the same way, your first slow is going to be your prep, your second slow will be the turn, and your quick quick takes the place of the rock step. Okay, so doing them that way, it looks like this from the basic. Slow, slow, I'm quick, I'm quick, slow, turn, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, more time, quick, prep, prep turn, turn, quick, quick, quick slow. Okay, that's pretty basic. All you have to think about on that one is to get back into closed position rather than ending open. In most limby turns or, or six count turns, you start here and you end open position. This way we want to end back in closed position. Yeah, so when you turn her, you want to make sure that you keep your hand right above her head mm -hmm. so she ends back up in, in closed position. Instead of turning her and dropping your hand, Out here. which will make her in and open. Okay. okay. That's pretty simple. The other variation is a little more tricky, but it looks more shag. Now, they did turns both ways in the old movies. We've definitely seen the second one more, though. Okay? Um, it's turning on the quick, quick. There's not much of a prep for it. You just turn her, and it looks like this. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay? Now, the first one, you're prepping on the first slow, and you're turning on the second slow. The second one, you're prepping on the second slow, and you're turning on the quick, quick. Now, it's a, actually a little easier for the girls to do this turn, the second one, because she's turning on her quick, quick. And her quick, quick is more mobile, because it's two weight changes than going and jumping on the same foot twice. So the second one's more mobile for the girl, but it's, I think it's harder for the guys to remember, because it's not so much like the basics they're used to. Any tips for the guys? Okay, now, a couple tips for the guys. Make sure that the prep, usually in swing, you're side by side when you're going to do a turn. So you bring her to square up on the prep, okay, and it's, it's really obvious. In shag, you're already squared up, so all you, all you really have to do is just lift up your arm, okay, and try to lift it up above her head, okay, try not to get it out here, because then when she turns, she's going to end, she's gonna end open. And you want to end close. Okay, and you want to end close, so you want to try to keep it right up here, so when she turns, it's in one spot, and she comes back to close, okay? So, um, so when you're, when you're prepped, depending on how you dance, whether you dance here, whether you dance up, just make sure that she knows there's a prep here. Just try to move her hand above her head and then the turn. Make okay? it something, so even if it's subtle, make it a little different. It raises a little. So let's try those two with music. We'll try the basic um, turning on the slow and the slow, prepping on the two slow, hello, prepping on the slow and turning on the slow. And the second one is prepping on the second slow and turning on the quick, quick. We'll try okay, both. We'll do this a couple times uh, and we'll just do them that order. We'll do a basic, we'll do the first turn we learned, the second turn we learned, a basic, the first turn, second turn. Here we go. <laughs> That's pretty simple. If you already know basic turning technique, it's going to be easy for you to do that. Okay, our next move is going to be collegiate kicks. Okay, 
There's a lot of kicks in shag, a lot of kicks. But yeah, well, as soon as you break apart from the basic, you're going to almost be doing all kicks. Now, the collegiate kicks happen on the, on the two of your basic, so it's a variation of your basic, although we're going to cut out the quick quick when we first learn them. There's single collegiate kicks, there's double collegiate kicks, and we'll do triple also. Um, or what we call single double. Getting into them, you're going to do from the basic. We're going to do a full basic here, and we're going to use a full basic to open up flat. Then make sure that you're opening like a book and you're both opening equally. You're not here and sending the girl to the side or trying to meet her side, okay? So it looks like this. We slow, slow, open up, slow, slow, and quick, quick. Okay, that's pretty basic. You just open up to the side. For the collegiate kicks, they start, they're going to start on the one, but the kick is actually on two. So we do our regular basic, like we're going into our, our basic ladies. We go slow, but instead of going hop again, we're going to kick our free foot. Okay, so with the basic opening up, it looks like this. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, kick. Okay, and that was one, two. We kicked on two. Now what the guys are going to do is they're going to lead us in and out and in and out so that we can't do a quick, quick. He's going to make sure that he leads these, all right? And they're going to look like this, just the singles. Slow, slow, quick, quick, step, kick, step, kick, step, kick. And he keeps turning us. Okay, let's try that with numbers, okay? So from here, this is from the basic, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, of course, you can do as many of those as you want. You can do, you know, eight, 10, 12, 14, it doesn't matter. We're just keeping it that way so that we can get out of it easily and count to eight. We can all count to eight. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next set are double kicks. Okay, or double collegiate kicks. Um, we just finished singles, doubles, as you know, uh, are just double kicks. So from here we go one kick, 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 kick. Okay, it's the same exact lead, same exact movement. Instead of doing one kick, you just double. And you're going to hold her to the outside so she doesn't turn to the inside. Okay, okay. so the same thing with with eight kick with eight counts of those. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Okay, it's the same exact thing, same exact lead. Um, moving on mm -hmm. to the single doubles. Right. You can either do single double or double singles. It doesn't really matter. We'll do single doubles. Um, from here, you step, you step out and you do a single kick. Single, and, and you bring her, her in. Inside. And you hold her in to do a double. Double. Turn her out. Single, bring her in. Double. Turn her out. Single, bring her in. Double. You could do a double single, which is obviously the same, the, what it sounds we'll like. Hold her out. Hold her out and bring her in. Bring her in and hold, hold her, her out. out again. Bring her in. So you could do any variation of these you want. Technically, you could hold her to the outside, and you can do eight kicks to the outside, then bring her in and do two, and then go out and do four. As long as they're even numbers, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, keeping sure that you want to make, that you wait until your lady's right guy's left foot is free to go back into your basic. Okay, so you can do whatever combination of these moves that you want. Okay. That good? Want to try those to music? No. Let's go camel kicks and we'll try those. Okay. Ones. We'll do okay. camel kicks first. So. <clears throat> okay. Now camel kicks. They're um. Good hear you. Oh. Camel kicks are kind of used as a variation of the basic. Um. It's a um, two kicks and a quick quick. So from here we go step kick step kick and then what the guy does he leads he leads her back a little bit quick quick step kick step kick quick quick step kick step kick quick. Okay? With numbers? Now, with numbers. Looks like this. I can get my shirt off here. Fixing yourself here. Okay, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Start moving back. Five, six. One, two, three, four. And from here, six. Our outside feet are free. Ladies right, guys left. So from here, anytime you're done with that six count variation, you can go back into basic. Slow, slow, and quick, quick. So from the basic into these, they look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four. Here we go. Slow, slow, and quick, quick. So that's just a basic variation of those. Okay. okay. Now, if you want to think about camel kicks, it's just another basic. Almost like how you did the taps. You went slow, tap, slow, tap, quick, quick. Instead of tapping, you just kick. Slow, kick, slow, kick, quick, quick. So that was a basic. So from the back for the ladies, from our basic, just to show you the transition, we go slow, slow, quick, quick. That's our basic. Then going into our camel kicks, we're going to go slow, kick. That's one, two. Then we go three, 
four, that's on our left foot kick, and then we quick, quick. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Which like Eric said is the same thing as going one, two, three, four, and five, six. But we're going one, two, three, four, and five, six. And for the guys? Okay, for the guys. We're here. We turn, we turn towards our left first. One, two, three, four. Come back in on three, four. And five, six is a quick, quick. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, which is the same as one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep in mind that the accent in the shag is on the one. In our basic, it sounds like one, two, three, four, five, six. So in this move, our accent is still going to be on the one. Even though you're used to accenting a kick, like a linear kick, one, two, three. In this move, we're still a kick is on the two, so we're not going to accent the kick. We're going to accent the original motion, which is one kick. Okay, and it's going to be on the ones and the threes still. So it's going to look, rather than looking like one kick, one kick, quick, quick, it's going to look like kick, step, kick, quick, quick, step, kick, step, kick, quick, quick. So make sure, it doesn't have to be really, really dramatically um, emphasized, but make sure that you're not acting in a kick, because that's going to feel awkward to the basic. If the basic is going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, on the kick, it's going to feel really awkward, okay? It's going to look awkward. So, okay, now one thing to, um, <clears throat> Before, before we move on, I want to explain the, the posture of the kicks, okay? Now, they, there's, there's a couple rules that they always say in shag. One is that whenever you're, whenever you're kicking, you're bending at the waist here, okay? So we're both bending forward and bending our knees. Then they say that the kicks come from your knees, and they always cross your body here. So you okay? don't just want to kick straight. You don't want to kick straight. Okay. okay you always want to cross your body and then cross your body again. Okay, cross your body out while you're bending at the waist. Boom, boom. The other thing they say is that your arm should cross opposite where your legs are going. Now, we don't actually do that too much because we have a hard time making it look cool. But if you can do that and it looks cool, try it. Because we've heard a lot from old timers that the kicks cross your body this way and your free arm, you're going to cross your body this way. Which is kind of like that cute shag pose you see a lot in old uh, cartoons and stuff. But we don't do it that much, so you don't have to do it. Okay. Okay. Let's try it to music? Yep, let's try it to music. Okay. Camel kicks. Okay, oh. those are cable kicks. These are all just simple variations, thing to throw at you. Um, shag is a very simple dance, so you can play with a lot of these things and, and mix them around. The next thing we're going to learn is a similar movement, different counts of kicks, but it's, um, a, they're called lolly wise, we call them. It sounds like kick step, kick step, rock step, or step, 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 okay? From the basic, they look like this. Slow, slow. We do the same thing, open up to the side, quick, quick, okay? Now, instead of rotating out and kicking on twos, now we're going to be kicking on the ones. So what's going to happen is from that basic, you just went quick, quick. Guys, you're not going to give her the chance to go back on her outside foot for the basic. You're going to bring her in right away. Bring her in. Kick, step, kick, step. Okay. okay. So from here, we're going to, the, the lolly kicks turn. So you're going to go kick, step, kick, turn, step, step. Kick, step, kick, turn, step, step. Kick, step, kick, turn. When you add your posture and everything, it makes it look more like a shag move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, <clears throat> the lolly kicks, you, you, keep the, you keep the same posture when you're doing them, you just don't rotate out first. Now, um, <clears throat> the guy, it's easier for the guy to rotate around the girl when he's doing this. Kick, step, kick, turn, step, step, because then she doesn't have to rotate so much. She okay, she doesn't have to, to do a full turn. Alright? So it's a lot easier if that moves around. It's kind of harder to show everybody forward and doing that. For the guys. After you do your quick, 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 quick. Okay, instead of rotating out, you're going to rotate her in. Kick, step, kick. Now, when you step, you're going to turn her. Step. And then the guys, you do two steps. Step, step, because the turn takes two beats. Then when you catch her, you're going to do the same thing. Kick, step, kick, turn, step, step. Kick, step, kick, turn, step, step. And we'll explain the turn and all that kind of stuff afterwards. Um, from here, you rotate in on the first kick, kick. Now when you step, you're going to start rotating out, step. 
Your second kick goes out, kick, and when you step, you're going to start rotating in. And that's when you want to turn her because you want to follow that momentum. So you rotate in, kick, step, step, out, kick, step, turn, then take step, two steps. Step. So for the ladies, our footwork just by ourselves is going to go kick in, step, kick out, step. We complete the turn with our two steps and step, step. We kick, step, kick, turn, and step, step. We kick right, step, then left, step, and right, left. Okay? Okay, now, after the turn, when you come back together, one of the ladies turning, she wants to keep her arms where the guy left them. Okay? The guy keeps his hand on her waist as she turns, and he uses that as a guide. Okay? That's just so when he turns her, she doesn't come in, she doesn't end up hitting him. Okay? Yeah. There you go. There mm -hmm. we go. Okay? So he wants to keep, it, keep his hand on, around her as a guide. Now, we have a rule that we always say, during a turn, if I put my hand on Sylvia's waist, she knows we're going to end back in, in closed position. Okay? If I don't, she knows we're going to end in open position. Okay, so that's another reason why you want to keep your hand on her waist, guys. Okay, now, from here she's going to keep her right arm stiff, so when she comes around, that right arm is what's going to stop you. No, they don't go okay, back there, so the guy doesn't have to grab her and bring her in because he has to keep on turning her. Okay, so, from here, we kick, step, kick, keep your hand on her, and stop with your outside hands. Turn. Kick, step, kick, turn. Boom. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, so, from here, from the basic, we're going to use one basic here, one basic to open up, and we're going to go into lollies. Okay? Looks like this. Slow, slow, open up. Slow, slow, slow quick, we go. Kick, 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 kick turn. Kick, kick, turn. Kick, kick, step, step, step. Okay? From here. <laughs> going back in Yeah. After we finish our turn, we do our step, step, which is a quick, quick. We're going to go right back into the basic. Slow, quick. slow, quick. So from one lolly, it looks like this. We kick, kick step, kick, step, turn, step, 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 slow, step, slow, slow, and quick, quick, quick. So they plug right up against each other. The basic is six counts, and the and the, the move is six counts. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and we go one, two, three, four, and five, six. Okay. For the guys, it's the same thing. You're going one, two, three, turn, five, six. You plant here to bring her back into the basic. Now, to go back into the basic from here, after the turn with 5-6, we're on an inside foot. Guys, what you're going to do is you're going to meet her in the middle. Okay, we call it closing the book. Make sure you don't yank her in front of you or you yeah. jump across her. You just close the book. So we're both going to go sideways and going to meet in the middle. It's the easiest way. It's a lot easier than the guy trying to jump in front of the girl to go in the basic or the guy yanking the girl in front of him to go into the basic. She's going to meet right in the middle. Okay, so we're going to do a basic. We're going to open up, we're going to do three lolly turns, because I'm going to circle around, then we're going to go back into the basic. It looks like this. Slow, slow, slow open up, slow, quick, quick, One, two, three, kick, four, turn, five, six, kick, one, two, three, kick, four, turn, five, six, kick, one, two, three, kick, four, turn, five, six, kick, one, two, three, four, and five, six. Okay? Okay. Now, in the case where you're, you run into him, ladies, we always tell in our classes it's his fault because you, I kept my arms with a word and he walked into my arms. So you saw that last one, Eric got a little elbow, okay? He's thinking about what he's doing next. If that happens, as long as you're not doing this, ladies, when you're dancing, you're fine because he passed your arms pa past him here the first time and he caught him. And unless he, you won't hit him again unless he steps into you. Even if you kind of go spinning out of control and when I, when I spin, if I go kick, step, kick, and I do this, and he's to lean, all he's doing is going, so he can get out of your way. So if that happens, yeah, so where I'm home with you. It's really his fault. With keep it, keeping your guide here, wherever she turns, if you keep the guide there, if she starts spinning out of control, okay, you just try to keep your guide. If she comes into you, same with thing. The, yeah, if she comes she into you, 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 try to keep your guide. Your okay, so let's try that to music. Alrighty. <laughs> Our next move, I want to go back to camel kicks for just a second. I do the camel kicks hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, 
The camel kicks hand in hand. Well, actually, let's do it. We're going to show the variation of going from basic into hand in hand first. This is the basic. You're going to open your arms up like, give me a hug, like this, and it's going to slide her out into hand in hand position. Okay? So from the other angle from here, guys, you just lift up your palm to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Slide down into hand in hand. Okay? It takes a full basic. So from here we go. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Okay, there's a lot of variations of moves we can do in hand in hand position. So this is just showing you how to get into hand in hand position. But first one we're going to work on is camel kicks in hand in hand position. Okay? So from that basic here, we're going to go slow, slow, quick, quick. And then the guys lead the camel kicks like this. Slow, kick, slow, kick, quick, quick. Slow, kick, slow, kick, quick, quick. Now guys, when you, when you do your turn, you leave it almost like you would, you would leave the twist. Okay, so when your body turns towards your left, here, your left hand is going to go forward and your right arm is going to go back, which is going to turn her to the same direction. Okay, so from here, we go slow, kick, and then we switch that position. Slow, kick, and then we come back to the middle on the quick, quick. Quick, quick. So to show you forward with the arms, we go slow, kick, slow, kick, come back to the middle. Now if you think about the rule we talked about earlier, which is the kicks always cross your body, like for the ladies who are here, if I do a basic, slow, slow, quick, quick, okay? Now my, I'm gonna step onto my right foot and my left foot's gonna be the one that's kicking. If I think it kicks across my body, it's gonna kick to the right hand side. That's my slow kick. Then I switch, slow, kick, and I quick, quick back to the center. Okay, so again, together, it looks like this. We go. We go slow, slow kick, kick, slow, slow kick, kick, quick, back to the quick. Center. Slow kick, slow kick, quick, quick. From this angle, over here. Slow, slow kick, kick, slow kick, quick, quick. Slow kick, slow kick, quick, quick. Okay. So those okay. are camel kicks hand in hand. For coming the turn. Out, coming out. Oh, for the turn first. Yeah, okay. For the turn. Okay. Now the turn <clears throat> on the first kick when we go slow, we're gonna let go. Okay. Then on the kick, we're gonna use a full camel kick. Just to complete the circle, we go slow, kick, kick slow, slow, kick, kick and we quick come back together, together on the quick, quick. Okay? So all the guys have to do is as soon as they turn over for the slow, we slow, just let, and let go, and, and that, that motion that will naturally lead will turn around. Okay? So a basic camel kick, then we'll do the turn, and a basic camel kick to show you. We go slow, kick, slow, kick, with the turn, slow, kick, slow, kick, quick, quick, and another basic. Okay? Now, depending on how fast the music or how fast you turn, you could, you could end up doing a double spin in that, but it should still take a single camel kick, okay? So if you want to, you could go slow kick, slow kick, quick, quick, slow kick, slow kick, quick, quick, slow kick, slow kick, quick, quick. If you're able to spin that fast, or if the music's slower, you could, you could add that in. Okay, now, to get out of the camel kicks and hand in hand, on the quick quick, you're just going to run together, quick, 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 like this so that we're able to go back into the basic. Now make sure that if you're doing the turn, if you're doing camel kicks with turns, make sure that when you get back in the hand in hand after a turn, you always do one basic before you go back, one basic camel kick before you go back into a regular basic, because it's too confusing to go from a turn into a basic. So it'll always look like this. Slow kick, no, from, just from the, just from the basic. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Slow, slow kick, kick, slow kick, kick run to the other slow, slow. And the way you lead that, guys, is from here, we slow kick, slow kick, Okay, and then you let go with your left hand, and you use this hand to bring her in, and you run up to her. Run quick, together. Quick. Scoop it up with your, with your hand behind the back. And bring her over to the side. Slow. Basic. Slow. Okay, so from the, this direction here. Slow kick, slow kick, back together, slow. Slow. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do a basic camel kick. Actually, we'll do a basic. A basic in the hand in hand. One camel kick. One, one turn. One camel kick come back together for a basic. Looks okay? like this. Looks like this. Slow, slow, quick, Open up. quick, slow, slow, quick, here we go. slow, kick, slow, kick, here we turn. go. Turn, slow, kick, slow, kick, quick, quick, quick. basic, here. Yeah. slow, kick, come quick, together, quick, slow. side, side, slow. and quick, quick. Okay? Okay. Want to try that to me? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what the other side is. can see. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay. Okay, now again, you can do as many camel kicks as you want before or after the turn, or you could do continuous turns. It doesn't really matter. Okay. okay. So another move from hand in hand. Again, taking it back to the beginning of the video, the breaks. Okay, we just did camel kicks hand in hand, and we also did camel kicks side by side. We first learned breaks, closed position. Now we're going to learn breaks from a hand in hand position, but they're not going to be here anymore. They're going to be back to back. It looks like this. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, and slow, and slow. One more, boom, bum, and then you come around. My shirt's a little tight for this move, so if you wonder why my arms are fighting in here. Okay, so we use a basic here. We use a basic push out, which we learned just a minute ago. Then we're going to use a full basic to do a barrel turn going back to back. It looks like this here. Okay, making sure, guys, to keep her left arm under your arm as you pass under. So you don't want to let it get out here when you turn and turn that way. You want to scoop that arm up. Make sure it comes under her like arm. Like that, okay? As you come around, you're going to make sure the other arm comes against yours too, so that you have this connection, okay? Just like this. So both of the guy's arms are under the girl's. If we're out here, there's no connection whatsoever. We can't lead anything. But if we're here, uh, it's totally leadable, yeah. okay? So it looks like this, up to there, we go. Now guys, make sure on the barrel turn here, this is very important, that when you turn, you're turning under your own arm, okay? Which leaves her room to turn. A lot of people, when they turn, they try to turn under their hand. It's, it's, and it doesn't leave any room for the girl to turn under, okay? We each turn under our own elbow pits. Right here. Okay? Okay. So it looks like this, we go. Slow, slow, slow quick, turn. quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick. quick. Takes a full base. Okay. From this position, we do breaks, but only now in plays, instead of going back, we're going forward with our free foot. Guys, it's the same. We're going to go and down, slow, up, and down. slow, then quick, quick. quick. Okay. okay. From here, guys, we let go with our right hand. We come around. Slow, slow, slow and quick, quick, quick. Okay, now the come around, the come around part, we're, I want to do this opposite here. Okay, when you let go with your right hand back here, this left hand, when you start turning around, I want it to go straight back. Because that'll keep you close, okay? If you bring this arm here, and you bring this arm around, it'll make her in an open position, okay? So guys, from here, when you start turning, I want you to take this, and I want you to draw a straight line over here, which will keep her in one spot, okay? So. So I'll real quick put a forward variation for the ladies, since we're doing something different. Right. We do a basic here, we do a basic in, into the barrel turn, slow, slow, quick, quick. We end up with our weight on our left foot in like a normal basic. Now instead of obviously going here on our brakes, we're going to go forward. So we're going to go onto our right foot and we're going to slide our left foot forward. Then we're going to go to our left foot and slide our right foot forward and then quick, quick. Okay. Now a little trick about this move is so you don't clip each other's heels. It's kind of sitting against each other. When you're in this position here, don't stand straight up and down into your brakes. Kind of do this and sit against each other. It's not, it's not that much weight. It's really, really light. But it's enough to keep our feet away from each other and not right on top of each other. Okay, so again, the move looks like this. We do. We'll do it from here just to show. We go. Okay, do a basic. Slow, slow, go quick, quick, quick hand slow, hand. slow. A here barrel we go. Turn. Slow, slow. Two quick, breaks. Quick, up, down, up, down, and quick, quick, up, down, up, down. And quick, then we come quick, around. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Okay? Of course, you can do as many breaks in between as many as you want. You can do two, you can do four, it doesn't matter, whatever you want to do in between. Just make sure that when you're ready to c come out of it, guys, you let go of your hand and you bring her through. Okay, let's try that to music. Alrighty. Okay. So back to back breaks. A cute variation to do. I really like, really like that one a lot. Okay, so now we're going to move on to arm lock. Arm lock. Remember, I have good names for these, any of these. So you can name any of these moves whatever you want to name them. We call this an arm lock because it just describes it best. Um, it looks like this. Again, it's from hand in hand position. Okay, from here, um, after you do quick, quick, you go slow, slow, quick, quick. Okay, guys, you're going to bring her in. Same time you step forward, and you're going to end up locking arms. So from this position here, from here. From here. After a quick, quick. Quick, quick. 
Okay, you're gonna you're gonna step in on your first slow, and you're gonna end up arms here. Okay, and it looks like this. Okay, there's a circle, and then we're gonna switch and then go back into the basic. The whole move looks like this: slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Switch direction, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. This is very basic because you're just doing your basic footwork. Um, we're doing what they call chugs. You can also use trucking. We'll show you those variations too. But it's just your regular slow, hop, slow, hop, quick, quick in your basic, okay? So again, for the guys, we're here. We do a basic. It goes slow, slow, quick, quick. When you come in on the slow, you're going to bring her in an arm lock, right and right. Slow. Okay. And you continue the circle, guys. Slow <laughs> and quick, quick. I'm going to do one more. more. On the second um, quick, quick, uh, or on the second basic, on the quick, quick, you're gonna switch to the opposite hand, to, to your left hand, guys. So we do. So this is the second basic. Slow, slow hop, slow, slow, hop, quick, quick. quick. And the guy just, just turn around. It. It's very easy to feel, ladies. Okay. Yeah, you, you don't have to push or anything. The guy just switches positions, and it'll make the girl switch positions. So we do a full basic here. Slow, slow hop, slow, slow, hop, quick, quick. quick. Then the and same not, thing. Yeah. On the quick quick, we come together facing each other. Slow, slow hop, slow, slow hop, race gun. quick together. Okay? And then back into the basic. Slow, slow. So the actual move itself takes four basics, four six counts, but you can um, do as many, of course, each direction that you want. We're going to do four basics. Okay? And it looks like this. Okay, from here. Basic here. Slow, slow, slow quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, quick, quick slow, slow. 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 Change direction. Quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. Pack together, slow, slow, quick, quick. So there's no change in the floor. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff in between. Just do your basics. Variations. You can do trucking when you come in. Okay. Now what we're doing is a chug. Slow, chug, slow, chug. Because obviously if you just go slow, hop, you're going to stay in place. So when you're doing traveling, the set, the hop is going to become a little chug. Slow, chug, slow, chug. Okay. We can do it trucking, where we're here in hand and hand position. And when we come in, we go, mm -hmm. quick, quick. And you plant, twist, plant, twist, quick, quick. Um, this one doesn't travel as much. So when you do this one, you have to make sure that you maybe want to choreograph it as partners or so that it kind of travels the same. But if he's doing chugs, he's going to travel way more than I am just going. But from behind, the trucks look like, in a, in a, in a shag timing, they look like slow, slow, and quick quick so it's going to be plant to the inside with your right foot ladies and twist out on the on the slow end okay so you go slow and slow and quick quick slow and slow and quick quick slow and slow and quick quick okay for the guys for the guys you're going to step you're going to step with your left foot angled in like this okay on the first slow slow that's on the one on the two you turn out two you step in on three, turn out on four, and then you five, six. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. To show you in front. One, two, three, four, five, six. You guys take out your little shag finger if you want. Yeah. Okay. So. Don't step on your blue suede shoes. Oh, yeah. They're all dusty. Okay. So if you do that one in, in the arm lock position, it's going to look like. Okay. It's just a very interesting Obviously, you saw that that one didn't rotate as much. It didn't move much less. Okay, so let's try the unlocks to music. Alrighty. These with the trucking. Okay, and there's this. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to go over some styling for the basics. So you learn all these basic moves, you learn variations, you learn um, basic turns. You know, the first thing we want to talk about actually before styling is that. Anything you already know in six count swing, your side side rock step swing that you may have learned very, very first when you first learned to dance, or your triple step, triple step rock step, 
that's a six count basic and so is the shag so anything you know in a six count basic can be replaced in shag um, for example I don't know what I'm trying to do in the beginning you can do walkthroughs you can do anything like that um, yeah so instead of from here instead of going rock step triple step triple step rock step okay you just start after your basic slow slow quick quick slow slow quick quick okay so you can replace this the triple steps with the slow and the rock steps with the quick quick okay and you can do all your same six count basics okay okay and work them out that way so now for styling mm -hmm. okay styling first we're going to go over moons or circles okay uh, I'll show the guys first okay from here when you step onto your left foot guys slow your free foot is going to actually yeah make sure we do them together okay. yeah when you step onto your first slow foot your free foot is going to make a little circle or like a little crescent moon okay that's on your free foot then when it comes back to the middle you're going to step on that one and your other one's going to make a circle and then from here you do your quick 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 so we go slow slow quick quick slow slow quick quick okay now that together looks like this slow slow quick quick slow slow you can keep them on the ground or they kind of pick them up and do the same motion okay? make sure though that when you do those for the ladies from the side they don't start here go around of course for the guys too yeah. but they go out to the side and around because well, obviously you, yeah if you go forward you get, end up kicking each other okay so just make sure that they go straight out and around okay now our next styling are double what kick. we call double kicks okay okay now double kicks when you step on your first slow foot you're going to kick twice with your free foot. So you go slow kick. kick. So okay. ladies, we go right and we double kick left, and that's on the one, two. One, one two. two. Then the three, four, it switches. And three, three four. four. Now our quick, quick is regular. Quick, quick. 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 So it's slow one, and two, slow three, four, and quick, five, quick. Six. Kick, one, kick. Two, three, four, five, six. Kick, 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 quick, quick. Double, double, quick, quick. Okay, now. When the music gets faster, it's hard to pump your foot that fast. Okay, so what we always say is if you're dancing to faster music, just think about dangling your foot out there and the bounce of your body will kind of naturally make it kick twice. Okay, so instead of doing this, slow, slow, quick, quick, you just go. And if you get your foot out there, it'll kind of naturally kick twice. Or if this starts confusing you, you can also just let your foot dangle and it can kind of happen naturally. You can use this as a styling. Make sure that, again, if you're partnered up, if you're here and you're dancing shag close, that you don't kick forward, okay? You can either kick to the side like this. We can go double, double, quick, quick. Well, this works really good if you're in open position. You kick forward. You do walk through. Okay, all those kind of patterns. You can fill with fancy footwork and it really makes the shag look sharp. Um, if you want to do it backwards, ladies, we can do it backwards here inside that side position. We can go. So we don't kick him. He can go forward and I can go back, kind of like a break thing. Or the one we like to use a lot, the one that we like the best, is a lead. Okay, he does it, lead it, leads it like jig walks and windy hop. He does a little lift and we do it in between each other's feet. And it looks like this. We go from the basic. Yeah. Slow, 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 quick, quick. Uh, uh. And that's nice, I'm sorry, that's nice looking too to do it in between each other's feet. Okay, now guys, when you do it in between each other's feet, just make sure that you're lined up, that her shoulder is lined up in the middle of your chest so that your feet are offset here. You're not toe to toe. If okay? you do it square. If you're square, you end up hitting each other. So make sure you kind of offset yourself. I always just try to aim her shoulder right in the middle of my chest. Okay, you can lift and do this, or if you're offset, you can do it by yourself. Okay. And also, ladies, some guys leave their basic shag out here. If they do that, then you have a lot of freedom to do whatever yeah. you want. Okay? Yeah, the closer you are, the more dangerous right. it is. Then the last thing I want to show you was um, putting your, when you start playing with um, like the six count stuff we were talking about, playing with your East Coast swing and making it shag, um, the, the very basic thing we taught you, the slow hop, so is the least mobile. So you're going to have the hardest time traveling that basic. Um, the, ne the next easiest one is, pro and then the moons are also very, um, stagnant. The next one is the doubles are, are pretty mobile. We showed you how that one works. Now the last one is what we, are, what we already did, the camel kicks. Going step, kick, step, kick, quick, quick, 
Like we said, it's the same thing as going step, tap, step, tap, quick, quick. For ladies, if you want to use this footwork, whenever you feel that he's going to start moving you into something more than just you know a, a, a simple turn or something, you can use this. Even in the turn, though, we can go slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, kick, slow, kick, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, kick, slow, kick, quick, quick, slow. Okay, and you can always add that basic in. So with your free foot, instead of letting it dangle or tap or double kick, you can just go step, kick. Now it helps when you do this basic to do this, step, kick, and not go step, kick, and keep it under you. So think about going one, two, then three, four, and five, six. So kick. So the kick comes from behind. It's also really shag looking, but it helps you when you're doing the real mobile stuff to get those big steps in there. Okay, now when you're using the collegiate kicks as a styling, your kicks don't have to cross your body. That's just for like a kick move. If you're doing that as a styling, you, you can be in open position here, and you can do your collegiate kicks or your camel kicks. You can even point them out if you want. Quick, quick, step, kick, step, kick, quick, quick. Okay, you can kick them straight, you can kick them out, or you can cross your body, it doesn't really matter. Okay, because then, then it's just a styling, it's not really a move. Okay, so the, the other thing, those are all footwork stylings, the basic footwork stylings. And the other tapes, in the, in the, the two and three for Shad, we're going to show some more advanced stylings. Um, but other things to think about, remember, the kicks cross your body when you're doing movement. Okay, remember that your free hand says the world about your dancing, we always say that. So make sure that when you're doing this, your hands are going and doing nothing. Okay, make sure, we always say the finger works always in Shad, you know, you if you can't think of anything, finger. like today, every time you watch me dance, throw the finger in, that works. But, or you can think about crossing your hand, okay, across your body, which is kind of a weird one. Or just do something cute, throw your hand in the air, or woo woo, or roll out the window, we don't care what it is, but make sure your hand's doing something cute. And the last thing is about the shag, you can take these basic steps that we taught you, very basic steps, this video, and make them so creative with the footwork, because the footwork and the attitude and the, and the body positioning and stuff is really what makes the shag. The steps, of course, are nice to know fancy steps, but the basic steps can be made to look so fancy. And the number one thing we always say is, break apart on the dance floor. Whenever we see old clips of shag dancers, old videos, at any given time, half the dancers are running around the dance floor trucking and pecking all over the place and doing crazy things. So play with it and really get creative with it and, and Maybe not the first time you dance with a girl, you don't want to let go of her on the dance floor, but after you're comfortable dancing with somebody, just let go of her and let her do her thing and run around the dance floor and meet back up with her and really make Shag fun because it was the crazy kids dance and it, it should still be that way. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we're going to go over next, okay, is breaking apart. Now, there's a couple of rules here. Okay, when you break apart, you should always make it, um, you should always make it after the quick quick or after, after your full basic. So from here, you slow, slow, quick, quick. Okay, now the easiest way to do it would just be to peel away from each other. You might go here and slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, okay? Now, when you're apart, the rule is you can do any kind of styling you want, okay? Um, they, they even said that you didn't even have to stay on the shag basic, just okay? You go, you go on the around. truck in, you can run around, you can kick, do whatever you want, it's okay? It's just the music. You just have to stay in the shag basic so, so quick with anymore. You can just be crazy and run around and do whatever you want. Okay? Now, when the guy, when the guy comes back to the girl, whenever you meet, get eye contact, the guy can come up to the girl here, no matter where you are, he'll bring her to the side and mm -hmm. go back into the basic. Okay. And when we say that, um, the, you, the guy leaves back in the basic, even beyond just bring you to the side, because sometimes the guy just, just um, kind of steps to the side like this, she might go triple step and miss that lead. We say it's almost an opposition. He leans his body this way and he jumps onto that foot, so it makes me go, mm -hmm, and I have no choice but to jump onto my right foot back in that basic. Okay? Okay. So, from here we can go slow, slow, quick, quick, I peel away, we can do whatever we want, okay? When I'm ready to come back together, boom, boom, I bring over to the side. That was really wild and crazy sound. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you're apart, you can do whatever you want, you can stay apart for however long you want. You can travel as far away from each other as you want. And, yeah, and okay. on the next two tapes, we'll show some breakaway stuff that you can do when you break away specific stuff. Okay. Okay. That's it. And we're Eric and Sylvia, and we're going to do a little dance demonstration at the end of this. I'm going to change my clothes into something more comfortable so it, so I can really move here. <laughs> 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 Don't forget 